Today I'm going to show you how to light a fire. Mm. Using one of these, which is a fire steel flint and nothing else but grass, ferns, bark, fungus, whatever we find lying around, but not cotton wool, anything that we might bring out with us. I'm only going to light it with things we actually find, we're not going to keep. Dried ferns that have been hanging a while, lovely and dry, and exposed, windy bank side. We can also use the dry air roots from ivy, climbed up the trees here, bone dry, didn't take a spark. You can also use seed heads, dried grass, that sort of thing. Just scrunch them all up together, that'll take a spark. You can also use the bark of a silver birch tree, peel it off, just like paper really, it's full of oils, takes a spark quite easily. Notice how the smoke is all black, that's all the tars in the bark, that's why it catches a spark so easily. Here we've got a fungus that we took off a silver birch tree and dried out. We'll see if we can get this to take a spark. We'll just run the knife up it a few times, get a bit of dust going and see if that'll take a spark as well.
this will smolder for hours and it's a good way to carry fire from one place to another according to Mr Ray Mears but I can well believe it because it's it's creating a lovely little smouldering fire there the smoulders when it gets to your new location get some dry grass put it on and you, you've got a fire without all the hassle of striking it or rubbing sticks together now that we've arrived at our new location we can get the dried fungus with our ready-made fire tease it out a little bit with a knife find some dry grass little branches and so on create our new fire I've just seen another fungus so I'm going to go up in a tree and get it. There you go, that dried out will be the same as the one we've used today. This is the end result of our fire lighting. Dirty hands and happy faces. Many thanks to Freya, who was the cameraman or camera woman, and also to James, who provided any strange sound effects you might have heard. Hey, that'll do it then. Is it recording? Is it? Daddy, that's in it now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Is it on or not? Yes. It is on. <laughs> Stop it now. Stop it now. <laughs> Tins, you were in the way. Yeah, remember, only eat the big ones, not the little ones. Why? Because the little ones will be ready. No, the little ones won't be ready. No, oh, bugger it, that's not going to go. No! Ah! Hang on, it's not, hang on, you did it. I can edit it so it looks like it's done first time. <laughs> yeah, that first bit will be alright for you because it went, didn't it? There was a little spark. Maybe you should do that one again now. No, I'll do it. Okay, let's go like that. Yeah, just, just uh, slap to switch it off. Oh, no. 